up guys, it is Pastor Matt here and welcome back to week number four of our series Mission Launch. Over the last three weeks we've been talking about a group of people called the Israelites and week number one we talked about the bad decisions that they were making and because of that God allowed a group of people called the Midianites to overtake the Israelites. Well because of that the Israelites had no other option but to seek God for help And, and week one we talked about seeking God. Week number two, we talked about a guy named Gideon who God raised up to deliver the Israelites from this group of people, the Midianites. And uh, Gideon had to make a choice to enter the plan that God had for his life. He had questions, he had doubts, but he had to make that choice to enter into that plan. Well, last week we talked about how Gideon had called all these people together, 32,000 men to go into battle to defeat the Midianites, but God told Gideon that that was too many people. So he whittled it down to 10,000 people, and then whittled it down even more than that to only 300 people. So Gideon, he was scared, he was um, nervous, but he had to expect God to be there like God promised he would. And Gideon was going to go into battle with these 300 men against an army so big you couldn't even count them. So that brings us to week number four. Now Gideon, here he is with just these 300 guys going into battle against this huge army of Midianites. Now he's there at the camp with the Israelites pacing back and forth in the middle of the night. When God comes to him and he tells Gideon, he says, go down to the camp where the Midianites are at and listen to what they're saying. Because when you hear what they're saying, you won't be scared anymore. So Gideon goes and he gets a servant and they go down to the Midianite camp, which was about four miles away. And so they walk down to the Midianite camp and uh, they start listening. Right as Gideon gets there, there's a Midianite guy inside the tent and he starts telling his friend about this dream that he had. And he starts telling his friend, he says, hey, in my dream, I I dreamt that this this round loaf of barley bread came tumbling down the mountain and hit our tent and knocked it over and the whole tent collapsed. And they started getting a little scared because they thought, you know what? This dream was talking about Gideon and his army. So when Gideon heard the guys talking about this dream, he was excited and the Bible says that he worshiped God. You see, he had no reason to be scared anymore because he could keep moving forward because God was going to be with him. So Gideon goes back to the camp where all the Israelites are and he wakes them all up and he says, here's what's gonna happen, we're gonna gonna go down and God has delivered the Midianites into our hands. So Gideon uh, divides the 300 men up into three different groups of 100 each and he gives them all trumpets and glass jars that have torches inside. And he he walks down to the edge of the Midianite camp where where the Midianites are camped out. And he leads them there and he says, on my word, I want you all to blow your trumpets and break the glass jars as we surround the Midianite camp. So they all go down there, Gideon leads them down the hill to where the Midianites are at. And he gives the word and they all, they all blow their trumpets and they scream and they break the jars that are in their hands. And the Midianites, they, they freaked out. They had no idea what was going on. They were so scared. They were so scared that they started turning on each other. They started fighting each other because they had no idea what was going on. Well, they're fighting each other and they're running away as they're crying. They're crying out for help because they didn't know what was going on. Well. Because of that, after this battle, the Israelites experienced 40 years of peace because of Gideon. Because he was willing to take those 300 men into battle against an army that was much bigger than his. Because Gideon knew he could keep moving forward because God was with them. The Israelites got to experience peace. And they turned their hearts back to the Lord like they were supposed to do all along. See, that's cool. That's what God wants us to do. He wants us to keep moving forward and know that he's always, always there with us.